Hello friends, welcome to Dev Diary June 2022. We're going to be taking a look at all the new things that are coming to Prehistoric Kingdom. So let's jump straight into it. We hope everyone had a very happy Pride Month. June was a busy time for the team as we release Major Update 1. But we're continuing to push forward with the new developments and just maybe new species. Hint, hint. I guess you guys will know exactly what the new species is but we will progress so let's talk about updates next up is our minor update 2 a small patch that includes a handful of new items and improved guest visuals following this will be major update 1 the first big content update during early access featuring a new map biome animals building sets and more will reveal the exact contents and theme behind the update in a dedicated feature focus prior to release, so stay tuned. New species. Ba -ba -ra -bam. Coelophysis. In the meantime, we think it's time to unveil the new sharp tooth animal joining Prehistoric Kingdom's roster. Say hello to Coelophysis. Don't be fooled by the slender carnivore. See, we're going for carnivores again. I'm absolutely loving this. With its exceptional vision, high speed and sharp teeth, the small predator makes for a terrifying ambush. There she is! Look at this little delight. Got to say, the Coelophysis is um, one of the dinosaurs I particularly don't like, and that's all because of Jurassic Park. Because, yeah, they're little hoppers, aren't they? But... This is gorgeous. Look at the texture. Again, what can I say, Cindy? You have absolutely knocked out of the park with the, the gorgeous look of the Coelophysis here. But those little teeth, man, <laughs> they're going to be really cool. Loving them. So here we go. Find far back is the Jurassic period. Coelophysis will be the oldest animal in Prehistoric Kingdom as a major update one. Despite its gold age, we think it still looks pretty damn good. I agree with you. Animation. Along with bringing new members to our prehistoric lineup, the first major update introduces the first wave of behavior animations. These special actions provide a fresh level of richness and personality beyond the active animations already in the game. We want our animals to do things, even when they're not walking or running around. These new animations are an exploration of animalistic behaviours and will help to build character for the various family groups of Prehistoric Kingdom. As this is a lot of animations, the audio work, behavioural animations will be rolled out in the new and old family groups across a number of updates, beginning with Major Update 1. Please enjoy the examples of two behavioural animations below. We can't wait for you to discover them all. I am all about this. Here we go. Now, you guys know I love the Dilophosaurus. She is just absolute sunshine. Look at her pouting. I love her. Some park managers have observed smaller theropods practicing their pouting on the form of prey. Oh, this will be so cool. And there's that hint that we are going to be getting live animals added to the game, like way later on, obviously, because it's not in the Trello board for any updates, but that'd be really cool. I have really hope we do have something like that. Imagine just jumping on a seal of Isis. Anyway, rolling can help scratch some tough to reach spots. I love this. This is so cute. I mean, look at it go. Look at his little hind leg just like poking up there. I love it. I love it so much. Oh my God. Ensuring the animals are lively and interesting to watch is a long-term goal for ours that will require ongoing development. Update 1 will see the overhaul of animal locomotion, which is a necessary step in supporting our advanced pathfinding and AI behaviours. Animals interacting or simply acknowledging each other has been a huge community request and we will keep working towards this. Hallelujah. Behind the scenes making the Dilophosaurus. My, my prayers have been answered. This is what I've been really looking forward to. So this month we've got an extra treat for you all. Our 3D animal artist Cindy recorded various stages of her work on the Dilophosaurus, unwrapping, sculpturing and painting a previous unseen skin. You have to wait to see what the finished design looks like though. Oh, they do like to tease us. Um, so we're going to have a look at this right now.
Okay, so that was awesome. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I was going to put some commentary over it as we were watching it, but I thought I would just let you guys experience it. So anyway, if you'd like to see more behind the scenes content like this in the future, be sure to let us know. I would 100% be that person in the, the Discord group, so yes, absolutely. State of development. After initial delays with the first minor update released mid-June, We've readjusted our current roadmap accordingly so that players can continue to follow our development plans and know when to expect the next update. You can view the update roadmap here on Trello. Players can also expect the tutorial to return shortly after we've resolved unexpected issues caused by the last patch. In terms of general development tidbits, here are some bullet points we'd like to highlight. We are working on a follow-up patch to Minor Update 1, adjusting the feed balance and addressing some miscellaneous issues, loading, visuals, etc. Steam Workshop support is highly requested feature that we will be working on soon. We're eager to launch workshop support so that players can conveniently share all their unique builds and create a community together. We have begun working on guests, AI and management for Major Update 1. We are very excited to bring more management gameplay into the fold over the coming months. We are still working on further optimization for loading speeds and rendering. Okay, so uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys are most excited about. What do you think of the Seal of Isis? And also, if you want to check out some more prehistoric videos, then I highly recommend this video here. So until next time, guys, have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.